CGFC 200 shocks, everyone. New PCR 2.1 unlock and IMMO off update explained. Hey everyone, this is Hussein, and I warmly welcome you back to Bobji Motors, your go to garage in the digital world for everything related to automobile diagnostics, ECU programming, and smart key magic. But before we get our hands greasy with today's electrifying topic, here's a quick heads up. This video is purely for educational and informational purposes only. Every tool, software, and feature discussed here is meant to help automotive technicians, learners, and enthusiasts understand technology better. All visuals, clips, and trademarks belong to their rightful owners, and you should always follow local laws and manufacturer guidelines when performing any vehicle-related work. Now, let's jump straight into something that's creating serious buzz in the automotive world. The brand new CGFC 200 software update version 1.3.2.0 officially released on November 12, 2025. Have you ever been stuck trying to unlock a stubborn PCR 2.1 ECU? Wondering if there's a simpler, faster way? Well, what if I told you the wait is finally over? Stick with me till the end, because today we're breaking down how this FC 200 update could change your entire workflow and maybe even save you from a few headaches. All right, let's get into the meat of it. The CGFC 200, known for its reliability in ECU programming, cloning, and repair functions, just leveled up in a big way with its 1.3.2.0 update. This isn't your average patch. This is a serious upgrade that brings high value features directly to your bench. Let's start with the headline feature, VAG Simos PCR 2.1 lock and unlock function in boot mode. If you've ever tried unlocking a PCR 2.1 ECU before, you know it can feel like wrestling with a digital vault that refuses to budge. But now, FC 200 simplifies it. In boot mode, you can lock and unlock the Continental PCR 2.1 ECU with smooth precision, no need for risky third-party workarounds. And here's the real kicker. The update now includes IMMO off functionality for the VAG Simos PCR 2.1. Yep, no more external tools or third-party software. You could disable the immobilizer directly within FC200. That's not just convenient. It's revolutionary for technicians who handle VW, Audi, Skoda, and seat ECUs regularly. But that's not all. The new update also adds a DDC off function for a wider range of vehicle models. So, if you've got those stubborn diagnostic trouble codes that just won't clear no matter what you try, FC 200 now has your back. Think of it as your digital eraser for ECU errors. And let's not overlook another hidden gem. The addition of the Mi 9.7 3 monitor not ready repair function. This feature helps address that frustrating situation where certain monitors remain incomplete even after multiple drive cycles. So now, instead of scratching your head and wondering why your readiness monitors are stuck, you can repair them directly with a click. In addition, the FC201.3.2.0 expands its support list to include multiple new ECU types across several major brands. Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, Photon, JC, and more. That means the device isn't just becoming smarter. It's becoming more universal, ready to serve technicians handling a wider range of vehicles. Here's a quick analogy. Imagine FC 200 is your favorite smartphone getting a major system update. Suddenly, it does more, runs smoother, and saves you time. And just like that, this update turns the FC 200 into a more complete powerhouse for ECU work. And hey, if you ever felt that programming ECUs was more complicated than explaining to your relatives what you actually do for a living, well, this update might finally make that conversation easier. In simple terms, Here's what you can now do with FC 200 version 1.3.2.0. Unlock or lock Continental PCR 2.1 ECUs directly in boot mode. Disable immobilizers, IMMO OFF, for PCR 2.1 without needing any third-party apps. Perform DDC OFF operations for more vehicles. Repair the three-monitor not-ready issue in MEAN 9.7 systems. Work with an expanded list of supported ECUs across several global brands. So whether you're an experienced tuner, a garage owner, or 
just an automotive enthusiast looking to sharpen your skills. This update brings serious value to your bench setup. It's faster, cleaner, and more powerful. Everything you could ask for in a professional-grade ECU programming tool. So, back to our opening question. Can the CGFC 200's latest update really simplify the ECU unlocking and IMMO OFF process for VAG PCR 2.1 systems? Absolutely yes. It's a major leap that takes what used to be a complex, multi-step process and turns it into something you can do confidently and efficiently right inside the FC 200 environment. In my opinion, this update cements CGFC 200's position as one of the most practical tools in the market today, especially for technicians who value both reliability and versatility. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What's your experience with the FC 200 so far? Have you tested the new PCR 2.1 functions yet? Or are you planning to try them soon? Drop your thoughts and results in the comments. I genuinely enjoy reading your feedback and learning from your field experience. And here's a quick fun fact before we wrap up. The Continental PCR 2.1 ECU is one of the most commonly used units in Volkswagen Group vehicles worldwide, meaning this update doesn't just affect a few technicians, it potentially helps thousands. If you found this video useful, let's aim big. Help Bob G Motors reach 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments. Your engagement helps us climb YouTube's leaderboard and keeps the channel alive with fresh, high-quality automotive content. Don't forget to hype this video, share it with your fellow technicians, and hit that subscribe button so you never miss our next diagnostic deep dive. Until next time, this is Hussein from Bob G Motors. Keep learning, keep exploring, and as always, happy diagnosing.